Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. And in today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fourth graders. We are still reviewing place value concepts. This video is part three, where we will be talking about whole numbers and decimals in standard, expanded, and word forms. Remember fourth graders, venture outside your comfort zone. The rewards are worth it. The problems we will be going over are in our Texas Star fourth grade math review workbook. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you are alerted when we upload new videos. Let's review once again about place value. Again, we are talking about whole numbers and decimals. So in our example, we have 3,684 and 26 hundredths. Did y'all hear that THS at the end? Hopefully so. And if you look at our place value chart, we have a three in the thousands place, a six in the hundreds place, an eight in the tens place, a four in the ones place, a two in the tenths place, and a six in the hundreds place. Now, when we're asked to write this number in standard form, it's like you usually write the number. But what if we're asked to write it in expanded form? There are two ways we can write this number in expanded form. The first one is 3,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 4 plus 0 0.20, or we could just put 0 0.2 plus 0 0.06, okay? The other way we can write it is three times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus eight times 10 plus four times one plus two times one tenth plus six times one hundredths. So again, if you see this form, either way, we know that this is the expanded form. Now let's look at the word form. For the word form, we have 3,000 in words, 684 and. Now, one thing that I do wanna mention is whenever we see a decimal point, when we are saying the number, the decimal point means I need to say and. Why? Because that tells the person who's listening to me that, oh, there's a decimal that goes there and that there are decimal place values in this number as well. Okay. So we have and 26 hundredths. That is our example. Let's dive into question number four. Again, this problem is in our workbook, which is available to purchase in our store. The link is in the description box. Our problem says, which statement about the number 726,483 and 19 hundredths is true? F, the digit has a value of nine times 100. G, the digit has four the digit four has a value of four times 100. H, the digit eight has a value of eight times one tenth. J, the digit has a value of two times 10. Now looking at our answer choices, what form are they using? If you said expanded form, you're absolutely right. Remember, we went over those examples, so you should be familiar with an, the expanded form in this way. Whenever we're solving a problem, the first thing we need to ask ourselves are, what are we looking for? This is such an important question because it helps you to understand so many other things you need to do concerning this problem. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the statement about the number 726, 
726,483 and 19 hundreds is true. Okay. I forgot y'all. My tongue got tied trying to say the number, but we're moving forward. So what information can help find the answer? Second most important question. Now that we know what we're looking for, the second thing we need to ask ourselves is what information can help find the answer? Because let's be honest, sometimes in word problems, not all the information that's there is something that we need. So we need to be laser focused on the information we do need so we can get that problem right, okay? So the information we need is understanding all of the place values for our number. So here we have our place value chart again. Now, if you aren't able to write this type of um, the place value chart like what I have, what you can do again is have a scratch, pull out a scratch piece of paper, put your place values there and then write the number. So this is possible. Another thing that I do want to say is when dealing with multiple choice questions, it can kind of get tricky, right? Because you're looking, you're trying to find the answer and you're looking to see, oh, is this right? But I want to give you a tip. If you instead go ahead and solve the problem for yourself and then compare your answer with the answer choices given, you increase your chances of getting it right. But if you're just kind of looking and trying to check, it can be overwhelming, right? Because we want you to be successful. So what is the best way to tackle this problem or any other problem? Go ahead and solve it first and then compare your answer with the answer choices that are given, okay? So now we're going back to our place value chart and we put our number in their different per, their perspective places. We have a seven in the hundred thousands place, a two in the ten thousands place, a six in the thousands place, a four in the hundreds place, an eight in the tens place, a three in the ones place, a one in the tenths place, and a nine in the hundreds place place. Okay. This is the information that can help find the answer. And you may be asking yourself, why do you say that Miss Jackson? I'm so glad you asked. The reason is we can now solve, how do we solve the problem? What we're going to do is we are going to compare the answer choices with what we know are the different place values so that we can see if it's correct. Okay, so now let's look at our answer choices. F says the digit has a value of nine times 100. And now we need to ask ourselves, is that true? What about G? The digit four has a value of four times 100. Is that true? H, the digit eight has a value of eight times one tenth. J, the digit two has a value of two times 10, okay? Now we're gonna ask ourselves, what is the correct answer? We've went through the answer choices. What do you think is the correct choice? Well, in going through all of the answer choices, the only one that seems correct is G. And let's see why. Let's go over it one more time. The digit nine has a value of nine times 100. Well, what we're gonna do is look at the hundreds place. Mm, no, there is not a nine in the hundreds place. So we know F is incorrect. Now we're going to look at G. The digit has a value of four times 100. Well, we look at the hundreds place and yes, there is a four there. Now let's look at H. The digit eight has a value of eight times one tenth. Looking at the tenths place, is there an eight? 
Mm -mm, that's not correct either. And lastly, we're going to look at J. The digit two has a value of two times 10. Looking at the tens place, is there an two there? No, it is not. So the correct answer is G. The digit four has a value of four times 100. And you see how we just went through the steps to solve the problem for ourselves. Then we compared the answers and we got the correct answer. Now let's move to question number five. Rita bought three and 48 hundredths pounds of bananas at the store. How is this number written in expanded notation? Oh, well, this should be easy breezy because we know how to solve expanded notation word problems, okay? We have A, three times one plus four times one tenth plus eight times one hundredth. Or B, three times one hundred plus four times ten plus eight times one. C, three times one plus four times one hundredth plus eight times one tenth. D, three times one hundred plus four times one tenth plus eight times one hundredth. All right, the first question we need to ask ourselves is what? What are we looking for? Again, the most important question we need to ask when solving problems period, because we want to get the answer correct, right? Great. We are looking for the number written in expanded, the number three and 48 hundredths written in expanded notation. Now, what's our second most important question? What information can help find the answer? And what we're going to do is pull out our handy, handy dandy place value chart and we are going to plot our numbers and place them in their correct values. If you see, we have a three in the ones place, a four in the tenths place, and an eight in the hundredths place, okay? This is the information that can help us find the answer. Now, we have all the information that we need. Let's solve the problem, okay? So now that we have our numbers in the place value chart, what we're gonna do is we are gonna put it in expanded notation, okay? So since the three is in the ones place, we are going to put three times one, Plus, we have a four in the tenths place, that's four times one tenth, and we have an eight in the eight the hundredths place, which is eight times one hundredth, okay? So again, three and 48 hundredths, we look at our place value, we have three in the ones place, that's three times one plus four is in the tenths place, that's four times one tenth, plus eight is in the hundredths place, that's eight times one hundredth. Now, again, remember, we're gonna get our question, we're gonna get our answer first, work through it, and then we'll look at the answers because we already know we got the right answer. So we're just trying to check and see if it's in our answer choices, okay? All right. Now that we have what our number is in expanded form, let's compare it with the different answer choices that we have. Let's go over them one more time. A is three times one plus four times one tenth plus eight times one hundredth. B is three times one hundred plus four times ten plus eight times one. C is three times one plus four times one hundredth plus eight times one tenth. And D, three times one hundred plus four times one tenth plus eight times one hundredth. Now, comparing those answers with what we know for sure is the correct answer, what is the correct answer choice?
If you said A, you're absolutely correct because A says three times one plus four times one tenth plus eight times one hundredth. And what do you know? That is exactly what our correct answer is as well. And that is it for our place value review of whole numbers and decimals. Remember, if you would like to join along in the fun and have your own workbook, you can purchase it in our store. The link is in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. Remember, fourth graders, you are awesome. Talk to you later.